the uh, few scant details that have emerged about Andreas Lubitz are that uh, he is from a city about an hour south of Cologne, west of Frankfurt. He's 28 years old. He was 28 years old. And the mystery really deepened as to this motivation question. According to the Flying Club, of which he was a member, it was his dream to fly, and he'd achieved this dream. He only had 630 hours clocked up as uh, flying time uh, compared to the captain's uh, 6,000. But he'd been trained uh, with Lufthansa at their flight school in Bremen. Now, his Facebook page suggests, and I should say that this has now been taken down, but when, when we looked at it, it suggests that he had very normal interests in things like electronic music, climbing and travel. But what happened on board on that flight deck is, is very strange indeed. There was no contact with the Marseille control tower, despite its numerous attempts to contact him. And although he was reportedly breathing normally, there was absolute silence in the cockpit. And apparently he won an award from the Federal Aviation Authority in the States in 2013, so not so long ago. And apparently also, I don't know if you can fill us in on the details here, the co-pilot's family have now left Marseille and, according to one report, even blamed their own family member for this crash. These details are just emerging, Matt, in the last couple of hours. And it's, it, it's very hard. I, mean, I think maybe there will be more clarification in this news conference by German wings, which I'm just about to go in, into here. There are many questions to be asked. You know, I, I want to find out whether, whether they concur with the French prosecutor's interpretation of, of events. And, you know, this question about the cockpit door, could it be, could it be unlocked by outside, from the outside, from the cabin side? You know, was there a code that could have been put in? Many questions I think that the airline now has to answer because they've been scant on their detail.